Lamb is becoming a fool. The woman is a damned collectivist. Here in Rapture, how could the Council fail to see it? Worse, to hide her intent, she gulls these patients of hers into a religious frenzy. A new Kremlin will rise and swallow the Council House before they realize they've been had. I will not have my city swindled by the parasite. It is time, I think, to call Sinclair. On the surface, the scientist invests the power of his mind in a single miraculous idea and naturally begins to rise above his fellows. But the parasites say no. Discovery must be regulated. It must be controlled and finally surrendered. Strives to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. But the parasites say, no, your art must serve the cause. Your ideals endanger the people. On the surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his arm for a hole lands of his own. But the parasites say no. What was yours is ours. We are the state. We are gone. We demand our share. <laughs> Sunshine means angels. Adamant. Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. Lacking its own ingenuity, the parasite fears the visionary. But it cannot plagiarize, it seeks to censor. But it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate. Now Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Tin Man had a heart all along. 
Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. On the surface, your parents sought a private life, using their great talents to provide for you. They learned to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasite said, No! The child has a duty. He will go to war and die for the nation. Two weeks at my last count. Two weeks since we were trapped in this rotten park. I haven't been eating. The children need all the supplies we've got left. Need them more than I do. I'm hiding. I don't know what's gonna happen. I can feel myself getting weaker. The children have noticed the condition I'm in, of course. What will happen once I'm gone? I'll be... all alone. I, uh, met with Sinclair today. Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo-legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has and make them go away. And I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what? And he flashes me these thousand dollars stipend. He's saying this job will, quote, change history. Unable to provide for itself, the need of the parasite grows until war is made to justify. Your parents brought you to Rapture where you need never fear the parasites again. So you see, there is no place for you on the surface. But you may bring the world to you. If you know someone who belongs in Rapture, write a letter to the Ryan Industries mailroom. And you never know. The next new face might be familiar. I know this facility is vital for the preservation of secrecy and rapture, but seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park at the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore, as long as Mother wouldn't send him to the surface. I'm not done Must find shelter! Why, hello there. My name is Andrew Ryan. I built the city of Rapture for children just like you, because the world above had become unfit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed, if those we left behind will come to us. Let us imagine, you and I, what might befall us on the surface. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. <laughs> Holy Moses, son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, 
Come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. I know this facility is vital for the preservation of secrecy and rapture. But seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what if he had learned here. Outstanding, sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that, that key. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. I know. Religious rites, Doctor. You're free to kneel before whatever tribal fetish you favor in the comfort of your own home. But in rapture, liberty is our only law. A man's only duty is to himself. To imply otherwise, therefore, is criminal. Ask yourself, Andrew. What is your great chain of progress but a faith? The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. No less mystic than the crucifixes you seize and burn. Thank <laughs> you.